Hello everybody, this is Dragon Gamer back to kick off the final round of group games. And we are going to be starting with Group A. And since this is the final round for the group stage, things uploads will be a little bit different because instead of doing like one group a day, I will do two groups a day. And by that logic, we will get all eight groups done in one week. Well, in four days. Then there'll be a gap where there will be no tournament videos. And then I'll do the draw for the last six, well, last 32. I should also mention how the last 32 will work. Um, players will be put into four groups. So you'll have one group with players who finish top in their group. And then you'll have second place players, third place players, and fourth place players. Matchups will be as follows. So there'll be a first place winner taking on someone who finished fourth. And then... A second place in a group taken on third place in a group and it'll be and vice versa so it'll be like say one to four is like the positions each team finished in so it'd be one versus four or four versus one two versus three three versus two okay and you cannot play anyone in the same group as you so take me for example I'm already through I cannot face any of these guys and that's how the last 60 32 draw will work I will do it in a video. You will all see who you're up against, and then and then I'll start the knockout round. But before we get to that, as I said, we got a final round of group matches to go, and we got some big games in Group A. Starting with Team Primal Carnage against Tor, myself taking on Connor Temple, and Ultimate Dino King taking on Ibuki. Here we go, first match for round five, and in this clash, we see Tor taking on Team Primal Carnage. At first for Tor, we have an Alpha Acrocamphosaurus. Any form of points will do it for Tor, whether that's a losing bonus point, a draw, a win, a bonus point win, or a 3-0 a win, which will result in two bonus points. So anything like that for Tor will do it. As for Team Primal Carnage in the blue corner, we have an Alpha Dilophosaurus. A bonus point win will do it for Team Primal Carnage for certain. A win will strengthen that. A win will do it for them as long as Connor Temple loses. Also, a bonus point win for Team Primal Carnage here will also eliminate Ultimate Dino King. Plenty to play for here. Ooh, that's a start from Primal Carnage. Not too much damage dealt though. This Acro will be at a type advantage, which could be key in this match. Oh, here we go. Here comes a crit and here comes Flare Sword, probably. Yep, here comes... Nope, Volcano Burst. Like, honestly, like, I think Tor is cheating. I think she, I think she put, like, an extra zero on Acro's techniques. It gets it off every time. Oh, but the Dilophosaurus coming back with a recovery. Ooh, and the poison. Team Primal Carnage holding the advantage. Oh, what's this? A Jet Shuriken 2! Big move there for Primal Carnage. Big turn. Tor's lead lasted two seconds. Well, Tor may be... Oh, it's a Dino Stuffer! Tor may be able to get off Flare Sword and Volcano Boost every time, but that only matters if Tor gets the hits, and so far she's not. Ooh, here comes the hit, and here comes another Flare Sword. What? What is this? What is this? This is... I can't comprehend how this Acrocamphosaurus gets off Flare Sword or Volcano Boost every single time it hits. But, because of that, Tor has a 1-0 lead. Okay, as for Team Primal Carnage's second Dino, we have a Pro Sorolophus. Ooh, group A, the group of death, heating up big time. Ooh, it's exciting, isn't it? I'm like a kid in a candy shop. I love it. I love it. Ooh, I love it. I mean, I can relax because I'm already through, so... No pressure on me this time. Ooh, but there might be a bit of a worry from Ultima Dino King because Team Primal Carnage has leveled the score. Okay, up next for Tor, we have a Verisniosaurus. Actually, there's a, there's a scenario where Tor can actually win the group. If myself and Ibuki suffer defeats, 
Tor will win Group A, and that seemed very unlikely at the beginning. And the good news is that the lags that I played my last couple of videos have seemed to have disappeared, which is good news. Ooh, the fairy gets the hit. The fairy gets the hit. Not as much damage dealt, though, but there's the tie bomb. Oh, it's another hit from Tor. Tor turning the screw on this match. And that's good news for Ultima Dino King, but here comes a light recovery. Of course, Ultima Dino King will only be eliminated after this match if Team Primal Carnage get a bonus point win, but even if Team Primal Carnage do win, Ultima Dino King will have to win 3 0. And that, well, it hasn't happened at all in this tournament, and I don't see it happening at all anyway, so. Yeah. Here comes the egg attack from Pro Sorolophus. I think the fairy is in a bit of trouble. And after having the lead, Team Primal Carnage has pulled it back. Ooh, but Tor gets the crucial hit. And here comes a strawberry cake. Could this be what Tor needs to wrestle back momentum in this match? Boosh! Well, what Tor would love is a tie, so then all them bombs will go off. Oh, speak of the devil, here comes the ties, and there's the tie bombs to finish off Pro Sorolophus. That me- oh, never mind, it's, never mind, I forget, it's revival type. Ooh, it's still on for Team Primal Carnage, the bonus point. Not anymore. And that has just saved Ultima Dino Kings from certain elimination. I mean, if team, as I said, if Primal Car Team Primal Carnage wins this match, then it's pretty much a 90% chance that Ultima Dino King is already out. Anyway, as for Team Primal Carnage's third and final dino, we have a Super Serrated Batasaurus, and i got to get my notes out. Okay, Awaken Mode on two. I looked at my mic audio then, I didn't see any sound going up, and I was like, oh no, it's not working, but it is working. Oh, here comes a tie! And another tie. This will suit Tor down to the ground, as it will weigh down our Ceratosaurus. Ooh, but the Ceratosaurus gets the hit. Here comes Ninja Attack. And this will be curtains for Verizniosaurus. Ooh, such a tight game this. So many fine margins. And it all comes down to these last two dinosaurs. But what I will say is that Tor still has that slender advantage. But the Awaken mode from the Ceratosaurus could be key. Okay, as for Tor's third and final dino, we have a Spinosaurus. Sigoi! Here comes the tie. Oh, and another tie. I think that will suit Tor a bit more, though, because the Spino does have more health. Oh, it's all coming down to this. Oh, our things are getting intense. Oh, the ninja attack. Has Team Primal Carnage snatched this match? Uh, I don't think it'll be enough. And the Awaken Mode won't activate next round, so... Oh, look at that, but Aqua Vortex has been triggered. How key could that be with all these draws? Oh, Tor! The Spinosaurus, I think, has just 
smashed a win for Tor and quite possibly have saved Ultimate Dino King. Or oh, big result that, but Team Primal Carnage will get a losing bonus point, but it might not be enough. Tor takes the win and for the time being goes top of Group A and has booked her place in the last 32. After a slow start in the group stage, Tor fights back with three straight wins to book her place in the last 32. Right, we'll update the next the table and we'll move on to our next matchup, which sees me taking on Connor Temple. Alrighty then, in the red corner for our hosts, we have the Alpha Chasmosaurus, and ever since I started talking trash about this thing, it's been doing well. Our gracious host, the champion's already through. A win here will take them top of Group A. Well, until the until the last round, anyway. But as for Temple in the blue corner, we have an Anata Titan. Connor Temple doesn't have to win this game. If Ultimate Dino King fails to win in their match, Temple will already be through. But a win will make a hundred percent sure of it. And. Since Ann Temple does have the type advantage with his Giga against my Mega Raptor, so if Temple gets an early lead here, things will look very promising for him. Ooh, but that is a good start from the host to crit right off the bat. But Chasmosaurus is quite balanced, so it doesn't do as much damage. Ooh, the Chasmosaurus on top early on. Not a good start from Temple. But here comes the electric charge. One more hit from the Chasmosaurus and it'll be curtains for another Titan. And here comes that hit and out of... After three hits, the Anata Titan goes down. A quick start that Temple wanted has not happened. Alright, as for Temple second dino, we have a Giganonosaurus. Here's the beast that could have the type advantage over Megaraptor. But it has to get past the full strength Alpha Chasmosaurus. Temple not looking good so far. The champion starting well. And well, quite, quite frankly, when you need to win a game, the last person you want to play, well, the last two people you want to play is the host and the champion. And you're playing both. Ooh, Connor Temple finally getting a hit. A firebomb coming from the Giga. Connor Temple finally striking back. But no volcano burst. Oh dear. Oh, that's not good for Temple. Big damage coming the Giga's way. Oh my god, did you, did you see how stretched his leg was there? But anyway, big damage coming Giga's way. Oh my god, look at that, I almost killed it! The Chasmosaurus dominating so far, and that's not good for Temple because their third dino is a water dinosaur. Oh, we could be looking at our very first 3-0 victory. But don't count Temple out yet because his third dino is the Spinosaurus Dinotector. That ultimate water could be key here for Temple to get back in the match. But so far, I think Ultimate Dino King will be relatively relieved. Of course, all this only matters if he wins his, his match against Ibuki. And if he loses, then none of this matters. Oh, here comes a tie. Oh, the Spinosaurus getting off that hit. But look at the type advantage there. Very little damage done. I think we might be looking at our first ever 3-0 win. Oh, here comes the counter blitz. But the spine, Spino Tector getting off that shockwave there. Shockwave could be key here for Temple as well to get back in the match. Okay, so we'd be going Skizzers. Oh, disaster! Oh, what a disaster! What a disaster for Temple there! Big chance to land some damage. Instead, the counter blitz coming in there. And not doing as much damage, though. 
but the momentum seems to be with Temple at the minute. But one Gatlin Spark could change that. But a Gatlin Spark is not what the Alpha Chasmosaurus is going to get. And I think even with a type disadvantage, this, this Futaba Cannon might be lethal. Yep, the Chasmosaurus finally biting the dust. And it is Dino Tector time. Which means the Mega Raptor could probably last about two seconds if Temple gets off a hit. And just like that, Temple is back in the match. Oops, wrong one. Yes, I'm getting the code ready. Uh, 5W2. Here comes Dino Tector. This could be big for Temple here. But one hit from. Actually, no, it take two hits. Oh, but the Mega Raptor gets off the hit. Chipping away at that Spino's HP. And Cyclone will tighten Stranger's grip on this match. Which means basically Connor Temple has to get the next hit. Otherwise it's game over. Ooh, how crucial could this ultimate water be? How massive could this be for Temple? didn't kill it well there's your proof that the that the ultimate water doesn't that, ult, that the ultimate moves don't kill it okay next round be a tie unless I was done. okay so it, hang on pause okay five and one. Oh, well it's game over anyway oh dear well it wouldn't have mattered if my Barry came in anyway I would uh, the the Spino was dead, but wow, that's a huge surprise. Well, it just goes to show that the, the ultimate moves aren't aren't a guaranteed kill. But well, that is, what is guaranteed is a bonus point win for for Stranger, and a place at the top of the table. And should Ibuki lose next round, Stranger will top Group A. Ooh, I'm excited. But. As for Connor Temple, well, it all comes down to this next matchup. Alright, here we go. In the red corner for Ultimate Dino King, we have a Brachylophosaurus. Honestly, when this tournament ends, he should get tips from Ultimate Dino Queen, because she seems to do well in my tournaments, but Ultimate Dino King doesn't. Anyway, in the blue corner for Ibuki, we have a Zuni Ceratops. Ibuki already safely through. A win here for Ibuki will ensure that they top Group A. But it is going to be tough for her because Ultimate Dino King does have an Earth Dinosaur in his team. And that Earth Dinosaur does have the type advantage over all of Ibuki's dinosaurs. So that could be key for Ultimate Dino King to win this match. But that doesn't mean he can afford to play catcher. Good start from Ibuki there. But the Emerald Garden has been triggered. And the Emerald Garden be activate then. Ultimate Dino King pulling it back. Wow, it's like a momentum stealer, Emerald Garden. It like steals the lead from your opponent and then you get the lead yourself. And here comes the nature's blessing. Look at that all of a sudden. Ibuki's crit hit there, nullified. Ooh, but here comes Thunder Bazooka. Choom. Not too much damage dealt though. Ooh, hit from the Brachylophosaurus. Ultimate Dino King in the lead. But that counter blitz could change that. Well, not when it's a tie, but because of that tie, here comes Plasma Anchor. A big move there from Ibuki. It's been back and forth so far. An even contest. 
but Ultimate Dino King does have a slight lead. And Ultimate Dino King will have a 1-0 lead as the Zuni Ceratops bites the dust. Okay, as for Ibuki's second Dino, we have a Pentaceratops. <laughs> this Pentaceratops, quite the beast. Of course, the key for Ibuki here is to not let this Brachylophosaurus get off too many hits because Ibuki will have to face down that Earth Dinosaur eventually if they want to win. And I don't want to get to a situation where Ibuki's playing catch-up. You know, it's that old saying, you've got to finish off this Brachylophosaurus, or you could all of a sudden find yourself 2-0 down. Oh my goodness! Well, Ultima Dino King won't mind, because this is probably the biggest lead he's had in this tournament. Oh, there's a tie. There's the move breaker there, nullifying that electric charge. Well, look at this all of a sudden. And all of a sudden, Ultima Dino King racing into a 2-0 lead. And that is exactly what Ultima Dino King would have wanted, but not what Ibuki would want. Okay, as for Ibuki's third dino, we have a Super Triceratops. Awaken uh, mode on... three. That Awaken mode could be key, but, as I said, gotta face that Talarurus eventually. And that Talarurus is a Super Talarurus. Oh, oh my goodness! What is this Brachylophosaurus doing? It's not supposed to win. Okay, finally Ibuki gets off a hit. And finally the uh, Brachylophosaurus bites the dust. But definitely a big opportunity here for Ultima Dino King. He cannot afford to let this slip. Alright, as for Ultimate Second Dino, and the key for him in this matchup, we have a Super Talarurus. Awaken Mode on 3. So both of these combatants' Awaken Modes will be on f activated on 3. Well, it won't be activated at the same time because Triceratops already appeared once. So they'll have Awaken Mode before Talarurus. Oh, poop I click paper. Well, okay, Ultimate was going to win that exchange anyway. Yeah, look at the type advantage there. Okay, twice, once. Ooh, the Triceratops getting off the hit. And here comes the Awaken mode. Oh, it's a tie. That will definitely suit Ibuki more. Oh, big hit from Ultimate. The Tappy Jar is coming in for Tiebreaker. Big momentum swing and an Earth Barrier. I think that is Ultima Dino King over the line. Oh, but the Triceratops! Getting off that hit, stopping Ultimate from winning there. And that will half his health and get rid of that pesky Earth Barrier. And here comes the Lightning Axe. Wow, what a match. Ooh. The Triceratops finishing off Tala Roros. Only just, though. Okay, as for Ultimate's third and final dino, we have an Acrocamphosaurus. An Alpha Acrocamphosaurus. No fire moves here, but we definitely saw what this beast did in the first match against me. And it's going to have to finish off the job here. The Triceratops is on very low health, so one hit will do it for Ultimate. But we've seen this happen before with Ultimate. Against Connor Temple in particular, where one hit would have won it and would have guaranteed its place already. Oh, it's a time. Oh, the Triceratops. Ultimate Dino King. A sliver away from winning. And that will do it. A series of ties here will do it for Ultimate Dino King as he snatches his place at the last minute into the last 32. Oh, big win. Big win that for Ultimate. <laughs> think, oh no, it's all going to go wrong again. <laughs> but nope, 
that's Ultimate Dino King safely through to the last 32. Right, we'll update Group A and we'll end the session. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how Group A will finish. We have the host Stranger Gamer up top with 14 points, Tor in second on 12 points, Ibuki in third on 11 points, Ultimate Dino King in fourth after that dramatic win on 7 points, and then we have Connor Temple and Team Primal Carnage eliminated from the group stage with 6 points apiece. Oh, that's heartbreaking for these two. They had a chance, but they didn't take it. Um, oh, hang on. <laughs> it's an interesting one. Like, Ibuki kind of surprised me a little bit, but with all the water dinosaurs in this group, Ibuki definitely had a good chance. I mean, you get drawn with three heavy hitters. That's really not good. And I'd probably say in another group, I think Connor Temple would have got out of it. But unfortunately, he got drawn into group A with, as I just said, three heavy hitters. And Ibuki with all lightning dinosaurs. So it, it, it was a tough draw for Temple, but I'm sure we'll see him again in a future tournament and maybe we'll do better. As for Team Primal Carnage, well, no surprise really. <laughs> I didn't exactly build these bot teams to do well in the tournament. I wanted them to be decent, but I didn't want them to win. So yeah, we got me at top, Tor, Ibuki and King. Ooh, Group A very tight. Right, I'll end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for next time where we will conclude Group B. And until then, this is Strange Gamer, signing out.